What is the very latest now with the helmet situation? Well, Green, obviously, Antonio Brown believes he's got a legitimate argument here. I think, obviously, other people are skeptical that he'll be able to win a grievance against the NFL, the NFLPA here, to be able to wear the helmet that he wants to wear. But you see the grounds that he's arguing of not having that full calendar year grace period to find the suitable helmet. He found the helmet. And he believes he should be given that year now to wear the helmet he wants. But I said this to you yesterday. I'll say it to you again today. We'll say it every day we talk about it. There are 2,880 players in the NFL. 2,879 of them have conformed to the rules and found a helmet suitable enough to wear for the upcoming season. One hasn't. One continues to wage a daily battle to try to find the helmet that he wants to wear, which is obviously worn down the Raiders. Now, the good part is Antonio Brown showed back up to work yesterday. He reported for duty. He is expected to practice, though we'll see what helmet he decides to wear. And I think the season opens now in under three weeks. He's looked for that new helmet for over six months. He's been unable to find a helmet he wants to wear in six months. He's now has got 20 days to be able to find that helmet to be able to get one to wear against the Denver Broncos in the Raiders' opening Monday night football game. We wish him the best doing that, Greeny. <laughs> All right, stay with me a minute there. We have a few other things to get to with you, but let me take this to the table here. And again, Mike Tannenbaum, from your position as a front office uh, guy, you would have been dealing with these things sort of maybe in a go-between role or whatever it is. How does this grievance work, and what, if any chance, do you think it has to be successful? Yeah, Greeny, I agree with what Adam Schefter just said. He will not win this grievance. This is a policy that was jointly agreed upon between the NFL and the NFLPA it's rooted in player safety. Antonio Brown would have to demonstrate to the arbitrator that there's compelling circumstances here. There aren't. Last year with the Miami Dolphins, we had a player in Frank Gore, very similar situation. I think the league and unit has been very pragmatic. They let players grandfather in these helmets that they've used for a long time, like a Frank Gore, like a Tom Brady. And now it's time to move on. Technology has evolved, and he's going to have to find a different helmet. He will not win this grievance. Yeah, the, the underlined uh, point here is that this is about player safety, which is about as important to the National Football League right now for any number of reasons as any other issue. Joey, we were talking before the show, and yeah. you were talking about how attached players can get to the equipment that they use. You had a personal example of this. So on some level, you were telling me, you understand why this is so difficult for him. Absolutely understand. I had the same shoulder pads for my entire 16 seasons. Uh, later in my career, I actually went to another team and my stuff was sent to that team. Uh, the equipment manager came to me and he said, I think we got a mistake. I think that they sent the wrong pads. So he took me back there to look at them because they were taped together. My pads at that point were like 12 years in. They were literally taped together. And so he said, we got to do something about this. You can't wear these. Can you try the updated version of the pads that you've been wearing for the last 12 years? I put them on. I couldn't go out. I could not wear this pad. So I said, we have to tape these together to play because I have to wear the pads because that's how I feel when I go in the field. Get it. And yet, yeah. if the league had come to you and said, it is either where the pads were telling you to wear or you are not allowed to play, at some point you would have gone on oh, the field. Oh, give me the pads right? then. <laughs> right? yeah, okay. You would have gone on give the field. Me the pads. So yeah. eventually we believe yeah. that he will. What yes. I want to ask you from the standpoint of being a wide receiver is yep. this. Every day that he misses is a day that he is not working in his new offense. He's not working with his new coaching staff. He's not working with the new game plan. And he's not working with the quarterback. Yeah. How significant is that? A, a player as talented as Antonio Brown that has played as long as he has played, I don't believe that Coach Gruden is concerned yet. I don't believe that the Raiders are concerned yet. I think that there is time to become concerned. But if you're still talking three weeks to go, Gruden knows, especially with veteran players, and I played for, with Gruden, and I didn't practice a lot. He gave me a lot of days off, but on the days I went, I went hard. So I believe he's still in that place where he's thinking we have plenty of time for A.B. to get into this offense. Mike, I, I, I will get back to you in a second. I'm being told Adam Schefter wants to jump back in here. Go ahead, Shefty. Well, Green, I think this is really worn on all sides, and I think it's really affected the relationship between Antonio Brown and the Raiders. You heard Mike Mayock come out with some strong words the other day. Maybe Mike Tannenbaum would have said the very same thing as the general manager of the Oakland Raiders if he were in that job. But the fact remains, I think that the Raiders were considering sending Antonio Brown the dreaded five-day letter, which would have given him five days to report, lest he be put on a reserve list where basically he could not play this season and they would not have to pay him. I think they were kicking that around. 
And that is one of the reasons that Antonio Brown showed back up to work, because that would have been a nuclear option for the Raiders. It would have exacerbated things. So we have a whole bunch of issues tied into this one issue. It's one player trying to seek one helmet that has impacted the relationships he has within that organization and perhaps how this season will play out. Well, that's really interesting. And remember yesterday, for those of you who are with us, in this hour of our show yesterday, we had his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, on, who said he, Drew, had been on the phone with Mayock all day long the day before and that he told us he's going to be back to work soon. He didn't tell us it would be that day, but he was. What did you make of that and the relationship Shefty is talking about with Mayock and the way that was handled? Yeah, I think there's a time and place to have those conversations. I know from sitting in that seat, the best time to have those conversations and the most effective result is to have those conversations privately. Just from a standpoint, you're having a challenging conversation with a player that you want to get a lot, a lot out of. With that said, what Adam's referring to, the five-day letter says, if you come to training camp and then leave and you don't come back in five days, if we send this letter, you are ineligible to play in the 2019 season for any team. So mm. it is truly nuclear. It is rare. No way. It is rare no to use. No way. I agree. They're going to send that letter. And here's why I don't think they send that letter. If he was a free agent and they wanted to avoid the guaranteed money, which is $30 million, that's one thing. They gave up multiple draft choices. They need this player to be successful. This is the first year they have the player. Yeah. They are not going to send that letter. I know they may threaten to send it, but that's why it's so rare. Well, you don't, you don't want to make nothing fits his relationships like touchdown catches. <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> They'll right. get over it. You got to be on the yeah. field in order to make touchdown yeah. catches, and you got to find a helmet you can wear to do it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.